Good morning, guys. Today we are going to do a barn tour and a meet the horses vlog. Yeah, baby, you've been making me crazy. Wait, my heart has been racing. I've been feeling you lately, lately. Yeah, I feel alive. Can I tell it like it was no surprise? No surprise that you caught my eye. Anything you want. I'm just in the cabin right now. This is where I stay. My bed is behind me here. I have a little bedside table and uh, a desk where I do my math homework. Um, the rest of the cabin there is eight beds in this cabin, so four bunk beds. So this is my cabin from the outside. Here's the snack check. This is when we have camp on. This is where we eat. We have two more cabins over there. I'll show you guys the driveway because we have a very pretty driveway. Here's the driveway. It's very pretty. And then over here we have the hunt course. So in the summer, when we have camps on, we put jumps out here and we'll ride out here. But chances are, chances are that now that camp's not on, we probably won't be riding in here this summer. We'll probably just use it as another pasture for the horses. So now we're headed into the barn area. This is the famous red gate. That's the noise. <laughs> That's the noise and you know that we're headed into the barn. That's the hen house where um, our one hen is sitting on those 12 eggs and we're again beside the hunt course and then over here that's the jumping arena. That's how you get to the jumping arena. Right now there's no jumps in it but hopefully in the next little while we're gonna till it and put some jumps out so that'll be exciting. And then over here is the other chicken coop and that's where the rooster and the four hens are. And then I'm gonna be putting the bunnies out here on the grass somewhere as well. So I've just come into the barn. This is kind of the um, small area in the front. We've got our hay and shavings here. And this is Cassio's stall behind me. I'll show you her little stall in her paddock. So this is Cassio's stall. Oh my goodness. Well, that was an entrance, wasn't it? <laughs> this is Cassio. She can be a bit funny in her stall, and she gets a little worked up, but she's uh, she's actually a very good pony, but her st she likes coming in and out of her stall at high speed. Honey, I'm showing, I'm showing them where you live. So this is her stall. Um, when it's nice and sunny out, I usually lock her out of here, and this stall opens up into a little paddock. And now we're headed into first barn, which I freshly raked yesterday, so that's kind of nice. So these are our... There's five stalls in first barn, um, and right beside me are the bunnies. I think I'm going to be putting the bunnies out in their outdoor um, spot today though, so hopefully they'll be outside for the rest of the summer. Uh, I'll show you guys the tack room. These are all the saddles. We've got kind of like a little couchy area. There's some saddle pads and girths over there. These are all the horses' bridles. There's some shelves outside the tack room. These are all our, there's fly sprays and shampoos and things like that. So first barn leads into our beautiful indoor arena. One side of the indoor arena leads to our hay shed. So this is the hay shed. So we have some round bales and some square bales down there. So this is where I get my hay when I'm feeding the horses at the back. Um, so this hay shed runs all along this side of the arena. The other side of the arena leads to second barn. And this is second barn. So there's plenty more stalls down this way, but we really don't use this unless camp's on because we don't have that many horses coming in at once. So this is the end of the indoor. And this door leads out to the back area. Um, we have a lot of farming equipment out here, so there's tractors and five-wheelers and things like that. And then over here, this is where we keep the boys and the youngsters. So they have this little paddock area where they I keep their water. And then they have this kind of dirt paddock where they stay most of the time. And then I open the gate to that grass area uh, when they're on grass. So right now it's only four hours a day, but it'll probably be all day or all night in the next little while. Right here, there, leads to um, the herd's paddock. So this paddock probably runs, I would say it takes me about 10 minutes to walk to the back. And then there's three pastures out this way 
that attach to this paddock that they rotate on. So right now they're on first piece, but there's three pieces that they can be on. And I think we might go up there in a second, so. I think it was my last video. I brought the herd onto this piece. Of course the tractor and stuff wasn't there. Um, but uh, there's this piece and it kind of runs along down that way. And then there's another piece right here that runs along down that way and the gate for that is over beside second barn. We also have some Canada geese. I can't, you can kind of see them. And over in the pond over here, if you've ever seen videos of us um, swimming in the pond with the horses, this is the pond. Uh, there's some little baby goslings in this pond. I think I got a clip of that, so I'll put that in here. We have even more babies this year. We have three little goslings. Let's go head up there to see where the horses are on pasture. So we're coming up to first piece where the horses are. Uh, but if you continue up back there, there's two more gates that lead to two more pastures. And there's also a gate at the very end which leads to our trails, the Equus Center trails. So yeah, there's plenty more up there, but I am not going to walk up there just for the sake of a video because it is way too far. And so this is first piece. Oh, there's May looking at us. And so let's go meet the herd. This is Sarah. She's just coming up to say hi. She's one of our school ponies. I believe she's a medium pony, but I'm not 100% sure. She's really, really cute and really, really chubby. This is Top Hat. Say hi, Top Hat. He is one of our previous pony stallions. He's now gelded, but he was a stallion for a good chunk of the first part of his life. Uh, and he has sired one horse here, and I will show you her in a bit. He is out of the sire uh, Rosedale Top Cat. Um, same as uh, Aristocat is also out of the same stallion. Hopefully when Ella's riding him later in the summer, I'll get some video because he is a real flashy pony. Um, oh, and his daughter is coming up to us right now. This is Donalyn. Hello. She is a uh, cross, she's Top Hat's baby as well as Janelle's baby. So she's actually half sister to Calypso, uh, who you've met earlier. Um, so, and we're going to see Janelle in a bit. Um, but she is, so she's Hanoverian, cross with a sport pony. She's always one to come up to you in the pasture. This is Mayfair. Hello. She is a halflinger crossed with a, uh, uh, an Arabian. So she's an interesting mix. She's very spunky and she's definitely a challenge for the kids to ride, but she's still a very, very good school pony. This is T-Berry. She is Sarah's daughter who we met earlier. She's the chunky one. <laughs> T-Berry is a super sweet pony. She's not that young, but she's quite green. So hopefully you'll be seeing more of T-Berry when Ella comes up. Lily! Hi, girly! Oh my goodness, hello! <laughs> this is Lily. Lily is a Percheron cross, I believe. She is totally awesome. Uh, she's great for beginners and especially adult beginners because she's so big. Anyway, all around awesome horse. This is Lily. Hello, Ristel. Hi. Hi, cutie pie. Here we have Risto, or Aristocat. Uh, he was another one of our stallion ponies. He's a half-brother of Top Hats. They're both out of Rosedale Top Cat, who is like a British riding pony slash sport pony. Aristocat has bred lots of ponies, but the only ones left here are T-Berry and Summer, so they are half-sisters. Blossom is really annoying in the field. She never wants to get caught, so I'm probably going to be able to doing this intro to Blossom from a distance. <laughs> like, can I just walk you away? Blossom is awesome. She is um, a full sister to Sarah. She's perfect for beginners, and she's just the best pony ever, except when you're trying to catch her in the field. This is Summer. Say hi, Summer. Oh, she's walking away from me. I didn't have any treats, I guess. Summer is Blossom's baby and Aristocat's baby, so she's the one who's half-sisters with T-Berry. Um, she is really turning out just to be like Blossom. She's become a really great for some of our more beginner riders. Say hi, Summer. Summer was a foal when uh, my first year here, um, so that was eight years ago. So she's eight. Here we have Bonnie. 
Bonnie, say hi. Bonnie is one of our Hanoverians. She's actually the daughter of Bo, who you will meet in a bit. Um, she's very cute, um, but she's a really great horse. She's so much fun to ride. Beautiful hunter jump. She's a lot of fun. Here we have Huck behind us, and he can be a bit of a grumpy old man. Um, he's also really great for beginners. He has an extremely smooth trot. Uh, he can be a bit bossy, but he teaches you a lot, so that's Huck. This is Sassy, Sassy Cat. Oh, hi, Sassy. Um, Sassy is half um, sister to Aristocat and Top, a top Hat because she is out of Rosedale Top Cat as well, I believe. Sassy is also a uh, half sister to Top Hat and Mayfair uh, because they're both out of the same mom, Cricket who uh, was who is an Arabian so and Sassy doesn't always live up to her name but every once in a while she can be a bit sassy. <laughs> this is Lyric. She is a wonder pony. She is so awesome. She's great for the kids to ride but she can also jump like three foot if you asked her to. Uh, she's been shown a fair amount and she's just a lovely lovely horse. We love Lyric. This is Janelle. Janelle is a sweetie pie. She's also a Hanoverian. We bought her from the States when she was in full with Calypso. So she is Calypso's um, mom as well as Donalyn's mom. Uh, it can be a bit on the speedy side, but she loves to jump. She used to be a hunter in the States uh, and she's just a really, really sweetie pie. So that's the herd. Here they all are eating their grass. I'm now headed in so you guys can meet the boys and the youngsters. This is Calypso. You met him in the first video and you also saw him in the second too. But I've already talked a fair amount about him in the first video so you can go check that out. This is Miss Chippy. Hi Chip! Chip will be turning five this spring. Uh, so this is her five-year-old year. She's in Oldenburg I believe. I'm hoping to get a video of her, a video just about Chip and Courtney at some point and their training and their progress so stay tuned for that. This is Courtney. Hi Courtney. Courtney is this is her four-year-old year so she'll be turning four this spring. Um, we got her when she was a yearling. She is um, a Belgian warm blood. Last year we took it really slow because it was just her three-year-old year. She's really really big. I have to measure her at some point. I think she's maybe 17 hands. Stay tuned for a video just about Chip and Courtney. <laughs> and here we have the boys, Bo and Corey. So this is Corey again. You met him before he was the snuggle. He was the snuggling horse. He's really cute. Um, Corey is quite a well-trained dressage horse. I believe he's a Hanoverian as well. I think there's some relationship between him and Bo. Like I think he's like his uncle or something like that. Um, but anyway, there's some kind of not direct relationship between the two of them. I think he's 22 years old this year. Um, he uh, has a fair bit of arthritis, so we ride him very, very lightly, if at all. Um, he's still loving life, but he's pretty much retired at this point. And last but not least, we have Bo, Corey's best friend. Say hi, Bo. Bo, say hi. There's Bo. Mwah. Bo might be my favorite, don't tell the rest. Um, I've been riding him for a fairly long time. Uh, he is again a Hanoverian. I believe he's 21 this year, but he was a stallion for a little bit and he sired Bonnie, who you've met. Um, he is just a lovely horse. He's a gorgeous hunter. He's so good. He has taught me so, so much. So I owe a lot of my riding to him. He's such a good boy. Anyway. And those are the youngsters, Calypso, and the best friends, Bo and Cory. Hi guys, I hope you liked my barn vlog slash meet the horses vlog. I thought you guys might want to know a little bit about the herd and the rest of the horses, because uh, I don't show them as much in my videos, but hopefully you'll see a bit more of them as the summer goes on. I realized that I mentioned that Elle was coming up, but I didn't say that out like outright at the beginning. I just talked about it later. Anyway, Ella is coming up, I believe it's a week from now. 
Uh, she is was going to be one of the counselors this summer. And because she's a bit smaller, she can ride all the ponies. So all the young or green ponies are going to get ridden by Ella in the near future. But hopefully Ella and I will be doing some fun stuff over the summer that we will vlog as well. Like I said, uh, stay tuned for a video just about Chip and Courtney, or the youngsters. <laughs> Uh, as well as some other fun videos, especially once we get the jumps out in the jumping ring. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.